Hi students, we are on chapter four of Ginny B. Jones and the um, Stupid Smelly Bus. And the title of chapter four is Me and Lucelle and Some Other Kids. So we just got to the end of chapter three and she just got off the bus and she had a horrible experience um, with meeting new friends because she didn't meet anyone that she liked. And um, yeah, we're about to see what happens when she goes into her kindergarten class. Some of the other kids, some of the other bus kids turn out to be in my class too. One of them was that Jim. Remember, she was playing with his book bag and he didn't like that. That Jim, I hate him. Mrs. made us line up. Then we followed her to our room. Its name is room nine. There were other kids waiting by the door. When Mrs. unlocked it, everyone squeezed in all at once. That Jim stepped on my new shoe. He made a scr scratch mark on my shiny toe. The kind of scratch that that lickin' won't fix. Hey, watch it, you dumb Jim! I hollered at him. Mrs. bent down next to me. Let's try to use her quiet voice while we're in school, she said. I nodded nicely. I hate that, Jim, I said in my quiet voice. After that, Mrs. clapped her hands together very loud. I want everyone to find a chair and sit down as fast as you can, she said. That's when I ran to the table with the red chair. Only guess what? There was already someone sitting there, a little girl with little red fingernails. And so I tapped on her and said, I would like to sit there, I think. No, she said, I am. Yeah, only I already picked out that chair out, I told her. Ask my mom, ask my mother if you don't believe me. But the girl just shook her head, no. And then Mrs. clapped her loud hands again and said, please find a seat. And so then I had to quick sit down in a stupid yellow chair. The same stupid color as the stupid yellow bus. After that, Mrs. walked to a big closet in the back of the room. It's called the supply closet. She got out boxes of new pointy crayons and some white circles. And then she passed them out. And we had to print our names on the circles and pin them to our, to our fronts. It was our first work. If you need help spelling your name, raise your hand, said Mrs. I raised my hand. I don't need help, I told her. Grandma Miller says I print beautifully. I used red, but then a mistake happened. I made my genie too big and there wasn't any room for my bee. And so I had to squish it very teeny at the bottom. I hate this stupid dumb circle, I hollered. Mrs. made the shh sound and gave me a new one. Thank you, I said nicely. Grandma, Grandma Miller says I print beautifully. The girl with the little red fingernails was faster than me. She showed me her circle and pointed to her letters. L-U-C-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That spells Lucelle, she said. I like that name of Lucelle, I said, because guess what? Seals are my favorite animals. That's why. Then Mrs. passed out drawing paper, and we drew pictures of our family. Mrs. put a happy, fa happy face sticker on mine. It was very good, except it made my father too teeny, and mother's hair looked like, looked like sticks. After that, Mrs. took our class on a walk around the school. Everyone had to find a buddy to walk with. My body was Lucelle. We held hands. The boy I can beat up was right in front of us. His buddy was that Jim. That Jim, I hate. The first place we walked to is called the Media Center. My mother calls it the library. It's where the books are. And guess what? Books are my favorite things in the whole world. Hey, there's a jillion of them in here, I hollered, feeling very excited. I think I love this place. The librarian bent down next to me, she said, to use my quiet voice. 
Yeah, only guess what? Right now, I, I just like the kind of books with pictures. But Mother says when I get big, I'm going to like the kind with just words and also stewed tomatoes. The boy I can beat up said, shh. I made a fist at him. Then he turned around. After that, we went to the cafeteria. The cafeteria is where kids eat lunch, except not when you're in kindergarten. Mmm, I said, it smells yummy in here, just like spaghetti and meatballs. Then that Jim turned around and held his nose. P.U. I smell you, he said. Lucille laughed very hard, and so I stopped holding her hand. The next place we went to was the nurse's office. It's very cute in that place. There are two little beds where you can get to lie down, and two little blankets that are color of plaid. Our nurse doesn't like a nurse. Or our nurse doesn't look like a nurse. She doesn't wear white clothes and white shoes. Our nurse is just is just a regular color. Lucille, Lucille raised her hand. My brother said that last year he came here and you let him take off his shoes and he got a drink of water and just his socks. That Jim turned around again. P.U. I smell your feet, he said to Lucelle. This time, Lucelle stick out her tongue at him. After that, we held hands again. I hope you enjoyed chapter four, and we'll continue on to chapter five next time.